Am I too early for the video? You are. I've only just okay. clicked go. My God, that doesn't happen often. And nobody likes the P word, Clee. <laughs> nobody likes it. <laughs> How to get a whole room full of men to blanch in horror. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome. It, you know how I was describing that bulk upload process to you yesterday, Clee? Yeah. I kicked it off again about quarter past nine last night after I'd taken another set of bugs out of it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's still running. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's done 5,000 pages. It's got 12,000 to go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't realise there were 17,000 pages. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, we'll see how good that wiki software is, I suppose. Put it to the test. Mm-hmm. And if it's not good enough, they can replace it, damn it. Yeah, definitely. For those that are wondering what's going on, um, we're in the process of putting together a, an information store for FASA Games to allow public access to various elements of the various game lines that are being produced at the moment. So I'm doing the Demon World stuff, obviously, and uh, it's been, quote, entertaining, unquote. I have a couple more grey hairs today than I did on Wednesday, that's for sure. So the content you're uploading will be generally available, will it? Or is it just internally available? So the stuff that I'm uploading will be internally available. It'll be there for developers. Uh, yeah. um, but there'll be a whole set of other pages that will be publicly available, and then there'll be stuff that'll be behind a paywall. So if you get a subscription, you'll be able to see it. So it's about us producing content that it is worth people paying money for. Yeah, cool. Hmm. So there we go. Sitting in camera at the moment as results of last week's live stream. Nice and shiny. Doesn't look like much yeah, on like the top. It. It's better like that. Yeah, it looks good. Ground's looking good too. Yeah. Base came out nice. What do you think, Matty? Do you think it was going to turn out looking like that? Um, no. I thought it would be a little more muted and a little less shiny. <laughs> no, kidding. Um, no, it turned out very nicely, as I think I told you earlier. Uh, I'm sure. It was a one-word comment. So it's hard to know. No, it was buddy nice then. Yeah. How about that? Excellent. We're up to three words. I'm just yanking your chain. I so, haven't had my coffee. Leave me alone. <laughs> so oh, I was very organized this morning and I got the paint out and I've got figures undercoated and everything. I just realized I haven't changed the sheet in my wet palette. I did that yesterday. Hmm. That's so funny. I did that like Thursday? Right. Thursday or Friday? Yeah. yeah. And you sheeted? Weird. We're all weirdos. It's as though we use them. <laughs> Speaking of which, my God, have you been burning through figures? Who? You, Maddie, his productivity Maddie. in the last couple of weeks has been astonishing. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, having fun. Go, on, that... have a, go and have a look at the Facebook group, Clay. Like, Demon World or 1879? Yeah, 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 Demon World. Oh, yeah. There's an 1879 group? There is. No, have, have no, 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 there isn't. There should be, but there isn't. I haven't. You you want to get, well, maybe you want to get Brad to start it, because if I start it, it'll be 1879 miniatures, and 
that may or may not be what they want. It's kind of hard to take a photo of what people do in their imagination, though. That's the rest of the internet. No? Too obscure? Um, yeah, since, you know, the rest of the internet is porn. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> what I was talking about. It gets done, <laughs> you know, for the most part. Well. And so, yeah, I, I found that reference a little obscure, okay? Yeah, fair enough. I haven't even had my warm-up cup of tea yet. <laughs> <laughs> you have a tea, then a coffee. I do. You're a civilised man. Uh, not really. It's St. John's Watt tea for depression. All I do is crawl into the bottom of a can of chemicals. Yeah, if it works for you, it works for you. Yeah, well, it does. Because I hate tea. <laughs> I'm a coffee drinker. Yeah, fair enough. I hated tea until uh, all the girls I was interested in in my uh, teenage years were tea drinkers. I'm like, uh, okay. Oh, the things we do for love. Lust. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why the internet's full of porn. Um, has he got pants on, do you reckon? He's an orc. <laughs> right, I'll take that as a no then. It kind of looks like a kilt to me. Well, he's got a loincloth. So he's got a jerkin. Which yeah, has got find... sleeves. And he's got a loincloth. And then these actually could be bare legs. So... I think maybe I'll do them bare. And which part Wolf of the Rider, internet so. you post him on? Which part of the internet I post him on? Yeah, this is very true. Very true. This guy's just got a G-banger. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Come on, focus. There you go. Hang on a second. Where am I? Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nasty. <laughs> There's a bit of flossing going on there. <laughs> i got to say, the yeah. ice witches are uh, relatively modest compared to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are fully arrogant. I changed my water last night, too. That's because after I did the basing for Treebeard, it was... Dark brown. Understandable. Not a whole lot of love for my tree beard. Have to go back to Battletech. Got more than a hundred likes on one of those Battletech posts. Shit balls. That's pretty good. I'm on well, though, Knowing Tolkien fans, I probably got him the tree beard the wrong shade of brown. Yeah, I suppose that's the problem with uh, Tolkien, isn't it? <laughs> we were discussing that the other day about how Lord of the Rings is, you know, it's a masterpiece, but it's flawed. You know. I'm, I'm sure even if Tolkien himself was to do it again, it would be different. But the the fanaticism with which people regard it is alarming. I'll say one thing for him: it's really, really fat calves. Tolkien. No, no, this orc. I have no idea. I don't think Tolkien calves would be fat anymore, um, if they ever were. Uh, 
Hey, um, when you said you got three packs of Skaven, or oh, rats... Three packs of rats, yeah. What scale are you talking about? They're 20. Four. Right. Well, they're just... I'm not even sure what they're for. Did you get they're, them... They're the, the rat men from Farsa. Well, Roll Partha, yeah. Roll Partha, I mean, sorry, yeah. yes. Yeah, 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 I know the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Did you get those, Matty, in the Dwarf Kickstarter? Yeah, I did. Uh, they're one of the reasons I went in on them and the goblins. Um, right. I was less interested in the dwarves. Right. Didn't stop me getting them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Any word on your current order? Is it shipped? Um, tell you. Not. I was just looking at the uh, painted wolf riders... Wolf Rider archers, and yeah, they most of them are bare legged. Right. Oh, you... One of them seems to have uh, pants under his skirt. This the leader has chain. Yeah, well, this one also seems to be wearing a black shirt with his pants. So, uh, right, that's probably him. Somebody, somebody, yeah, somebody made a choice. Oh, this guy's got bare feet, so. The guy with the G banger has bare feet. <laughs> but of course. Why not? Because thigh high boots are for women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still processing. Right. There you go. So is mine. Just. Aren't yours always? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe we shouldn't go there. <clears throat> this is my fault, I think, for dumping an extra um ten arc vehicles on him. Not vehicles, um bikes on him on Monday. <laughs> oh, can I have these as well? You know, I paid for them, but am I actually in shot? I am. Look at yeah, that. bang smack in the middle. Bang smack in the middle. So I'm doing a teaching game tomorrow with Don and Andy and possibly Ross if he has power. Um. And I had to reassemble all my video rig because it's all been pulled apart for various reasons. And I just spent a couple of hours yesterday hunting for a webcam because I'd put it somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't remember where. Oh, no. Yeah. This guy has literally nothing on other than that loincloth. He rides like the wind. Wings and party. dresses like it too. <laughs> Maybe I should paint him blue. Call him Skyclad. How about that? Running into combat naked, painted blue. Worked for the Smurfs. And Mel Gibson. <laughs> Let's not bring the private lives of actors up. <laughs> it was in Scotland too, so I don't know. Oh. Be all kind of cold going on. That might help protect you in combat. <laughs> yeah. Everything's retracted as far as it possibly can be. Yeah, it's all gone inland. Inland. All kinds of crazy. This is nuts, isn't it? <laughs> I subscribe to the strapping 500 pounds worth of steel on. 
being strapped into your saddle because if you fall out you ain't ever getting up ever again Having a few bubble problems this morning. Thought bubbles or paint bubbles? <laughs> paint bubbles. <laughs> paint bubbles. <laughs> and no, that's that's not a direction. So let's just not go down the Michael Jackson path. Mm -hmm. Oi. <laughs> How's that tea coming along, Matty? Uh, just been drunk. Right. I've replaced one cup with the other. <laughs> so you certainly look like you've been enjoying the painting. Everything aside from the stiff shoulders. Yeah. I'm not really sure how to address that without changing out my chairs and tables. And mm -hmm. I just don't have the ability to do that. That's a chair thing. Mm. Yes, my painting table is a broken down ping pong table, so. Mm. Well, that's, that's not bad, provided your chair's Adjustable. adjusted to be the right height. It's an Ikea dining chair. Mm. Uh. Had a whole bunch of them left from my last move. I got rid of the table because of no room. And it kind of broke when I threw it out of my first floor balcony. <laughs> but the chair survived because I could take them through the door. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I, I, so I'm gathering at this point that you were in a hurry or other circumstances because given it was an Ikea table, all you needed to do was find the Allen key and it would have gone out back through the door again. Uh, yeah, I was in a bit of a hurry. It's the wonderful thing about flat pack stuff. You can flat pack it again. <laughs> there is a lot of exposed flesh on this guy. Yeah, that's how I feel about the barbarians. Hmm. Like, I used to, I did used to complain about how much bare flesh there was on the ice switches. And then I started on the barbarian. <laughs> and I'm like, all of these guys are completely topless. Yep. Yeah, it always and they're usually me. not wearing pants either. I, I paint the, in the pants just, you know, for a bit of variety. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I was going to say, it always struck me as weird when they make models that are very, very scantily clad. Oh, the, the whole female warriors with no clothes on thing just... I mean, it's it's definitely appealing to the eye, but mm -hmm. it's very hard to... <laughs> Justify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chainmail bikinis, anybody? Um, like, you can probably argue plausibility with the barbarians, but... Eye switches that are topless. And he's just like... Well, that's the same with the um, the fantasy uh, ogres. Mm. They're topless and they have yetis. I'm like, yeah. see you guys coming from the snow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I paint mine in the desert. Yeah. Desert yetis. Desert Yetis, that's right. What you need, sorry, and this is dad joke warning, what you need is a scouting group of those called the Are We Theirs. 
Are we there, Yetis? Are we there, Yetis? <laughs> <laughs> There's a coffee coming, Matty. <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> I'm reminded of the pygmy tribe that lived in the long grass yeah. <laughs> called the Fakawis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's uh, Tap NV US LLC. How are you? Well, it's Richard. Good morning. Good evening. There you go. Oh, you know what? I didn't paint his face. His head. Good grief. Is he staring at his chief anger? <laughs> no, this is the guy with the top on. I painted absolutely uh, everything else except his head. You're doing more rats, Clee? I am. I'm working on a poison wind mortar. Oh, nice. This morning. Sounds gaseous. <laughs> <laughs> and I just realised for the second time I have missed their belts. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh got the first one I completed well before all of the dwarves yeah and he's back on the painting table because A I was looking at it as a reference but B I just noticed he's bloody missing his belt <laughs> oh, you hate that <laughs> yeah, I hate that and I've got him there to fix and I just realised I just inked over his skin and cloth and realised I've missed his belt again <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah. Have you suitably lamented the loss of the queen, Maddie? Um. Yeah, I lashed out at a couple of people yesterday who made light of the situation. Hmm. Were they suitably chastised? Well, if they weren't, they're going to get another earful. Right. Such. I mean, show some bloody respect. Mm. It's not hard, particularly when you're not even one of her subjects. Yes. My God, Twitter was a sewer last night. <laughs> what? Like, it's what? usually Just a sewer. Night. <laughs> it's usually a sewer, but yeah. everyone felt enabled to come out and be shitty. And I'm like, mm. yeah, I'm glad I don't engage. Mm. Was this about the Queen? Did, the Queen. Did I... Yeah, right. Somebody opined that she formed the moral backbone of the nation. Always, always showed dignity. I thought, there's a fair point. You never saw her throw a hissy fit in public. In a different time. Yeah. Difficult job taking that on at that age mm. and managing to carry it off, possibly as well as she did. Better than anyone had come before her. 
Yeah. I think I think the nation did love her father. I think George the Sixth was well respected, I think. Yeah. I mean he never expected to be king. Hmm. Um, um, you know, you're talking about the, the, the current scandals and, and all that kind of stuff going on. <clears throat> There's been more than a few in the past. Talking to my mum about it yesterday. Mum was saying she remembered where she was when the king died. It's like... Right. They, um, they were taken out of school... They, into the assembly area, they stood for attention for two minutes of silence, and then they were sent home for the rest of the day. Fair enough, too. Hmm. Different times. I don't imagine school kids were given the day off. I think they were in the UK. Hmm. Hell, they're shutting the country down for ten days. I understand it. Ten days morning. Mm, no mm. sports. No. At night or nothing. just morning. Ha ha. <laughs> I got it. I've had my cup of coffee. <laughs> We're just gonna our dad joke each other, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Right. So they're fully shutting the country down to. To green. Well, I assume it's what they do still go on, but. We might not get those orders for a while, Maddie. Mm. I said then probably not shutting down essential services. <laughs> uh, Paul, if you're listening, <laughs> if you understand the gravity of the situation. Isn't he Welsh? Who? Paul. Yeah. I don't know. All his Facebook profile seems to be Welsh. Right. <laughs> it might just be holiday snaps. Oh, but, you yeah. know, who'd want to go on holiday to Wales? <laughs> Plenty of people. <laughs> the question is, who'd want to stay? I'm not sure I could live in a country where I couldn't pronounce the names of the towns. I think England did them a dirty great big favour. By? Giving them a proper language. <laughs> a language that mere mortals could speak. <laughs> oh. uh, there's your disclaimer. Yeah. The disclaimer on this one will be, please note, you will be offended by this episode. Right, grey wolves or brown ones? Let's ask Richard. Grey or brown? Oh. Right. What um, colour is your thing? What colour is my... Well, that's a very personal question. Uh. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the Jeep Banger fella. <laughs> Do you think got the wolves or not? Well, they're the riders, so now we're figuring out what colour the wolves are going to be. What colour is your, your Jeep Banger? I don't know yet. Leather, maybe. Maybe go for grey wolves. Keep the contrast grey. on the rider. Grey. Grey. Uh, Richard, I forgot what we asked. I can't see that chat window easily either, so I'm relying on Maddie sort of relaying your text type things to me. I think that's an invitation to jump in on the call. Oh, hello, Vortex Mixer. My God, my glasses are filthy. 
wipe them out before you put beer in them. Mm-hmm. Only when you're changing brands. Wait! You're an Australian! <laughs> Don't yeah. you live or die by the brand of beer that you've chosen? No, I'm one of those guys who get something different every single time because I can't stand the local macros. <laughs> we don't. Like, I'll drink 4X gold in a pinch because, you know, if it's icy cold, it's actually pretty good. But I won't drink VB. Right. VB's the lowest. I'll is. drink. Absolutely is. However, I'll drink Tui's if I have to. But, you know, there's just so many other beers out there that are, like, better. So, a hundred percent agree with you that that Phoebe is swill. However, at the end of a day of working on earth moving equipment, those green pills go down very, very quickly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're designed to do that. They're designed to do that. Actually, it's very, very sadly, I actually did develop a taste for it. Really? I have since undeveloped that taste, which is fine. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's pretty good. There's so many nicer beers out there. Oh, yeah, that, for sure. Gunk. But um, cost effectiveness when you need to put away a slab. I bought a slab of Asahi stubbies for 50 bucks the other day. That's wow. cheap. It's dirt cheap. <laughs> That's cheap. Stubbies. Good grief. <laughs> Richard the must be going, what are you speaking? Cartons and cans are pretty good thing. <laughs> I am curious what the raw dealer are talking about. <laughs> Beer. Stubby is a kind of bottle that we've got in Australia, 375 mil. What does that work out to be? Seven, eight fluid ounces or something? Somebody do the conversion? Because I could be wrong. 375 milliliters? Yep. 13 ounces? Uh, 13. So there you go, 13 ounce bottle. So about a glass and a half? What do you reckon, Matty? That's chocolate. <laughs> yes, that's about right. Glass and a half. Glass and a half. Uh, yeah, Two fifty mil to a glass. So. But it, beer glass sizes in Australia are just strange. What? Beer glass sizes. Oh, beer glass sizes. Yeah, they are. They differ from state to state they as well. Do, yeah, like a schooner in South Australia is not a schooner in Sydney or something. No, South Australia is weird. <laughs> You guys have ponies, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Having been born in Adelaide, I can concur. Hang on. Have to sniff. Is it is it schooner that's the problematic one? I think it is. Pints too. I think there's a state that actually has imperial pints as pints instead of half liter glasses that we have everywhere else. Yeah, right. But yeah, schooners are problematic. A lot of pubs, even up here where we drink schooners all day, is you know they don't have schooners. It's either pints or pints. I'm like. Mm. Mm. You're from New South Wales, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the same as Victoria. You can't get schooners in most places, or you couldn't when I was No, you can't. Younger. No. It's either pints or pots. Mm-hmm. They just don't carry the glassware. So they buy glassware in bulk because it gets busted a lot. But why does an entire state collectively shun a beer glass size? Uh, yes. I don't know. Because they play AFL. <laughs> <laughs> They're weirdos. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Maybe they drink more and they want bigger glasses to say they're drinking less. Well, it's <laughs> yeah. Not that we would suggest that uh, we have establishments that encourage alcoholism. However, there is definitely a push to get you to drink more. We did abolish the six o'clock swill. Surprisingly enough, South Australia being the last state to do so. Yeah. 20 years after everyone else did. Strange that, eh? My attempt at cleaning my glasses just made things worse. So just, I'm going to get up. You just <laughs> move the dirt properly. around. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Trying to figure out what the American equivalent of VB would be. Would it be Bud? Bud winds up? Yeah. Not, not for taste, though. Cause no, I was going to say, it's not as bitter. Budweiser is a bit more plain. Yeah. It's a, I think Bud's a lager, isn't it? No, the U.S. is just yeast piss. Beer in the U.S. is generally underwhelming, frankly. Well, unless you go to those microbreweries, there's some some establishments that, and I think there are probably more of them now than there used to be, but there are some establishments that deal in boutique beers, and you can get some very, very good quality stuff from there, but the general stuff that you buy at the local store is pretty ordinary. The mass consumption stuff. The place, I think, with the best mass consumption stuff is Europe. Sort it out. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, they were making beer before America was even a twinkle in their eye. <laughs> That's right. That is true. <laughs> but then how do you explain the fact that, you know, America was basically populated, you know, in, in its modern form, uh, was basically populated uh, by... No, I can, I can explain that. <laughs> yeah, right. It wasn't populated by Europe. No, it was just the UK. <laughs> <laughs> and let's face it, they drink warm beer. Well, that's because they've got Lucas fridges. <laughs> well, you've heard that joke? You've no. got a Land Rover. You must have heard that joke. No. Lucas, Prince of Darkness. I haven't heard it. Oh, it's just Lucas Electrics in 70s British cars. Ah, right. Didn't yeah. work. Mm. Mm -hmm. So he used to have a, a... Dad used to have a V12 Jag. It was actually badged a Daimler, but it was a Jaguar. And it had Lucas Electrics, and it had the regulator mounted in the V in between the two banks of cylinders, precisely where it got hot. So they did it because in England they needed the regulator to be warm. <laughs> in Australia, it was too warm. Oh. So that thing used to not work properly a lot. Eventually, he, he ended up, Dad ended up buying a conversion kit to convert it convert it to a, a Mark II or a set of electrics or something like that, which moved the regulator up under the the front of the bonnet lip. 
Well, I put it out in fresh air so it would get some cooling. And it was better after that, but... He finally decided he couldn't afford the fuel prices, so... Oy. Swap that for Peugeot. What was this, 50 years ago? Uh, when did he have that car? 86, 87? Holy shit. Swap for prices. Peugeot. Oh. Uh, 86. Just out of curiosity, what was that... Um, Black contrast paint you were using was it the Templar or the other one? Which the new one? Which one? On the wolves. Uh, no, that was Space Wolves Grey. Oh, uh, okay. Do, why does it look black? Yeah, I just thought it looked black. No, it's blue. It's a grey blue. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to break up their colours by putting different shades of wash on them. Right, back to the orcs. Yeah, I just thought it was the uh, small stars worth of illumination you had overhead. <laughs> Making it look that way. I'm like, oh yeah, it's black. <laughs> <laughs> My 4,000 lumens. Can't see without it. Going blind. Question is, is this brush going to be good enough? Do need to worry about him. Do need to worry about him. This brush doesn't form so much of a point anymore as a fan. <laughs> Could keep cool in summer then. Yep, just wave it at my face. Oh, that reminds me of a really good description. Clarkson was talking about the air conditioning in the Lamborghini Countach. Oh, yep. And he said that it was the equivalent of an asthmatic blowing air at you through a straw. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, how every now and again somebody describes something and that description sticks with you forever because it is so appropriate. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go. I'm going to step out now for a few hours. Alrighty. Have a damn Have fine weekend. Cool. Oh, you too. Good to you both. Yeah. I'll catch you on Monday. See you on Monday. Thanks, Clay. Cheers. Bye. See ya. Well, it is now if I'm not much for a company. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Just chime in <laughs> when it's appropriate, and, <clears throat> and then, as the rest of us do, chime in when it isn't. <laughs> so do you do any painting of your own? I do not. I don't have the eye for it. Doesn't stop me. <laughs> Come on, Maddie. That undead army is gorgeous. Please acknowledge that. Uh, maybe if I get rid of that purple banner. I love it! <laughs> it doesn't fit anymore. I don't care. I love it. Okay, I'll say it was taken from Dark Elves, and those particular skeletons were former Dark Elves. Great plan. See, you can make any story about it you like. I just looked at it, at the full photos that you posted to Facebook the other day, and I went, that's just gorgeous, you know. It's a really nice force.
Well, it's got good unit composition. Well, I think the painting is on point. Not just because it's two units of spearmen. No. <laughs> Oh, come on down. I'm trying here to uh, <laughs> get you to take some credit for the rules. And no. Not supposed to... no. Stop deflecting. Can't help it. It's hardwired <laughs> reflex. Hardwired reflex. Yeah. No, the, I, uh, I love it. I, I, I like those skeletons. I do. I do like them. I'd, I'd be proud to put that on my gaming table. But not in the display cabinet. Uh, uh, no, I'm not fishing for compliments. I'm just joking. That was a uh, table standy, uh, table ready and display ready uh, paradigm joke. <laughs> Come on, I've only had one cup of coffee. Yeah. I've got another one brewing. Right. Another 20 minutes, it might just be strong enough. Might. So, Joe bought herself a coffee machine. Mm. I've been threatening to buy her a coffee machine for a long time. And she said, she, she'd be dead against it, right? Because she likes good coffee. Mm. She's a bit of a coffee snob. Anyhow. Weird for an English woman, but, you know. Yeah, well, you know. Well, she puts up with me, so she, she can't be all there. Um, <laughs> Is it yellow? <laughs> I wished it was. Um, no. But it's a pod job, right? Oh. So... Oh, her daughter, I'm, I'm crying. Her, I know you're crying. Her her daughter convinced her that these you could get these, and it's a I think it's a Nespresso job. You could get these Nespresso pod machines from Costco. I think it was Costco. I might be searching here. It might have been off the internet. Anyhow, they're about a hundred bucks off. So you know, in the realms of actually quite cheap. So she went and bought it for herself, and I'm like, I wanted to get you one of those as a gift. And she's like, well, I didn't want you to buy me one. So I'm like, oh, there you go. So she gets it home, she sets it up, she bangs a pot into it, she, she <laughs> squirts a cup of coffee out of it, takes one sip and goes, Bleh! and tips it down the sink. I haven't seen it used since. <laughs> Grab all the second comments. The coffee pod sponsorship dreams are dying by the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give Joe credit for not wanting you to buy a, one of these things because it probably would have been the death of the relationship. Possibly. You see, but I'm... You're starting to get to know me by now, right? It's that my intention was not to buy her a pod machine. <laughs> I was going to buy her the full full box and dice, right? A full proper coffee. 3000 buck Italian job. Three, $3,000 Italian coffee machine. Of course, that would have been a death of a relationship anyway because there's nowhere to put it. And heaven forbid I even hint at consuming more of her kitchen bench space. Oh, you got to have room for the Thermomix mm -hmm. and the backup Thermomix and the backup to the backup Thermomix. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started on kitchen bench space and coffee makers. I've got 14 of them in my kitchen. 14 coffee makers? Mm-hmm. Really? Really. Mm. So preparing food is a um, an exercise in dancing around the coffee paraphernalia. Pretty much. Right. Yeah, what you need to do is you need to get her a 
the Bioletti Mocha Pot. One of the fancy color ones. I think they come in yellow, but they also come in green and red. And right. I was just thinking a bright, bright yellow six cup Bioletti Mocha Pot would look really, really good. <laughs> it goes straight out into the rubbish bin. You know, just as a joke. And you oh, say to her, well, I didn't paint it myself. <laughs> I was inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can paint a tyrannid face on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the... Um... Those sorts of pot coffee machines that came through salvos fairly frequently. Yeah. Um, typically a month after Aldi had a sale. <laughs> typically. It's like, wow, this thing will be really good. No, no, it isn't. To be fair, um, her son has been around a couple of times because the grandkids have stayed over and she's babysat a few times and uh, he's made use of it. Um, I have not seen her make a coffee in it for herself. Fair enough, too. So. I remember when those things first hit the market and half the people in the office went out and bought their own for work use mm. to save on going down to the, to the cafe. To the cafe, <laughs> And now they're going down to the cafe. <laughs> they were going down to the cafe three weeks later. Yeah. Because they decided that they were rubbish. We had a big mm. problem with pod theft at, at work. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, they keep, keep them locked up in your drawers or charge two bucks a pod. Yeah. They had um, containers of pods in, in the kitchenettes and you'd go in the following day and they'd be empty. Because... Um, the uh, assembly line workers had to uh, help themselves. Blue collar labour. <laughs> 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 Only they would be low enough to drink pod, co pod machine coffee. It, it, it was almost like a competition between them, I reckon. You know, go down to the kitchenette on the Monday morning and see how many pieces of fruit and how many coffee pods you could come back with. Because, you know, we used to get two boxes of fruit come in on a Monday morning. By Monday um, morning tea time, the boxes would be empty. And it's just like, you can't eat that much fruit that quickly. So they weren't. They were just taking it with them. Staff benefit. Yeah. Something. Were they buying lots of bananas for the office? Um, the, the cases of fruit did come with a fair few bananas in them. Not many pineapples, I take it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only the management are allowed to apply the pineapple. Next ship. Come again. Um, working on the uh, interceptor project right now, and I'm still getting everything built up. Yeah. He um. Wiki thing has taken so much time, I'm now behind on my modelling. Yeah. Sorry, fixing up my paint lid. Guys at work were asking what sort of live stream I was doing. And I said, well, I sit here for two hours. And people come along and watch paint dry. 
Literally. Either you get it or you don't. Mm. So it's on the painting desk now, Manny? Uh, I'm about halfway through base colours on a unit of barbarian archers. Right. Um, yeah, archers. That's what I started with. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they are, actually. Um, yeah, it is archers, because they're holding bows. Sorry, I, I primed two units at the same time and mm -hmm. kind of mixed the figures up. I was trying to remember if I had separated them, and I think the answer is yes. Yeah, uh, Barbarian archers, first unit. Um, seeing as how I've already got the skirmishes and one of the warrior units painted up for that army. Yeah, cool. That basic army, I should say. I've got lots more non-basic troops, of course. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, uh, depending on how things go this morning, they might be uh, ready for a source by afternoon. Lovely. Half of them are bare-chested. Right. <laughs> the other half, I think, is supposed to have bare legs, but I just painted them in, in pants colour. Yeah. I've painted that guy's loincloth leather. I think I'll paint this guy's loincloth a different colour. Black, like a sparren. Hmm. With little white things on them. I don't want to call them tassels, but, you know. Isn't that kind of what they are? That is what they are. But I think you'd get punched by a Scotsman for saying that they're tassels. <laughs> I think you'd just get punched by a Scotsman, because isn't that what they do? Certainly in Glasgow. Right. Can your mother saw, laddie? I'll get her to stitch this. <laughs> Not the soldier was wanting last night. <laughs> yep. No, oh, they actually are tassels and they're called tassels. Well, there you go. You'd still get punched. Yeah. Don't call it a purse. <laughs> no. Oh, I just ended up doing his loincloth leather. Oh well. Oh. 
grapple the second comments. I did a live stream of me writing Demon World backstories last week. Viewership peaked at one. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better when I stream, usually the only people who are in the chat is a mod of mine who stays who's a stay at home mother. Right. Well, it seemed to recall my first couple were, well, although the first one, Andy made a point of sticking with me right the way through it, but I think the second and the third ones were pretty lonely. Then Maddie came along and put me out of my misery. Metaphorically, not literally. <laughs> yeah, they come to yours to watch paint and dry. They go to mine to watch me code. Yeah. Having been a software engineer for 30 years, I'm afraid I'd find that deathly dull. Occasionally, I put some games on. Hmm. And assuming my internet holds out when my birthday comes around, I'll probably do my uh, annual tradition again, which is I just spend all day on the PS4 playing games with my nephew and streaming it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. He enjoys it. Yeah. My kids are all gamers. Yeah, but this year is going to be a bit different because I'm still dealing with uh, a divorce for hopefully not much longer. Yeah. So that has to be done first before I can do anything else. Well, I wish you all the best with that. Mine wasn't pleasant, so... So far, it hasn't been that bad, but we're just waiting on everything to finalize, I think. Yeah. Apologies for the dog barking. Can't even hear them. Mm. Now I can. They can hear you. It's just another one of those things where I have no idea what she's barking at. No clue. There's nothing moving in the street. There's nothing moving in the backyard. She's just decided that she needs to tell the world she's here. There's a very, very sexist joke there I'm not going to reach for. <laughs> Can be writing ten lines of disclaimer this time. You ever listen to Offspring, Matty? No doubt. No, no, Offspring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Do you remember the disclaimer of Smash? Uh, I have a remembrance of it existing, but no, I couldn't recite it word for word. No, I can't recite it word for word either. It's just the opening line of, welcome to the disclaimer. I think they'd charge money if you tried to use that. They would. That's what you need is a freeware version of it. Yes. Somebody needs to do a, a bad rendition. I just realised I haven't done their boots. Bootlets. Very 70s. 
simple folk, these orcs. Fashion is more about what they do than what they wear. And hitting people is always in fashion. Aggressive negotiations. Yes. Oh. Mm. Sorry, what? I keep finding more and more stuff I need to add in before I can add in the name ships. Well, I think that's the nature of the game, isn't it? Yeah, my sinuses are buggered. Hey, I've got badly running nose this morning too. Um, did a Kickstarter update get published? Um, yeah, just the other day. Um, a ship has made it through the Panama Canal a couple of days ago and it's en route to New York. Hmm. Presumably because LA isn't safe. If, um, I think... <laughs> I don't think it's ever been safe, to be fair. <laughs> Define safe. <laughs> um, um, trains go slow due to union rules, and then gangs come along and rob the trains while they're in motion. I've heard story of businesses shutting down because the police won't take the homeless that are coming into the stores, crapping everywhere, pissing everywhere, attacking their customers, and they keep trying to kick them out, and they get ticketed for hitting the homeless. That's Starbucks. Mm. <laughs> we're back to coffee again. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> uh, well, is Starbucks better or worse than Pods? Worse. Mm. Although Starbucks also make Pods. You buy them in the local supermarkets. Uh, you know, or there are prices. some crimes that just simply shouldn't be committed. Right? Hmm. I think it went to New York because the distribution center is in Tennessee. And I think 
the overall trip journey time was shorter or maybe I'm just making this up well, given how backed up the, LA sh the bays are mm. it's probably faster to go to New York and unload there the west coast is supposed to be absolutely tragic at the moment uh, when perspective I of shipping I mean yeah, when I checked it uh, about four or five months ago, the docks were full. They were running 24-7, could not get the things out, any of the cargo out fast enough, and they had 80 ships waiting in the bay to dock yeah. to unload, yeah, and it was growing. Yeah, that's kind of the picture that I think we had. You ever looked at marinetraffic.com, just how many ships there are out there? There's a few. Like, I'm looking at a overview map. You got North Africa, you got Europe, you got the eastern part, uh, western part of Asia, you got the Atlantic. You got the entire Mediterranean in this picture, is what I'm saying. The entire Mediterranean is covered in colored dots. And also, there's one right at the bottom landlocked end of Tunisia. There's also one in the middle of Saudi Arabia. Is that the Royal yeah. Barge? The LA looks pretty backed up at the moment. San Francisco Bay is full. <laughs> kind of surprised Ross didn't, didn't say, you know what, just bring him into Portland. Presumably it's got a port in it. <laughs> I'll do it myself. It's in the name, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the Puget Sound is absolutely blocked up too. Mm. Yeah, I, I I did have the impression that the West Coast was really bad, which is why they chose to go to the East Coast. Oh uh, my god. Mm. The sea man is yellow is red and green dots. Yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. There's a lot of cargo on the move. And a lot of it's coming out of China. Hmm. Have you ever looked at, like, the equivalent for air traffic? And how yes, many planes are in the air at any given time? Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing, too. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What the hell? It's just a bow. <laughs> Are you chortling about? I'm chortling at the transmitter on a search and rescue boat that's currently parked at Alice Springs Airport. <laughs> Right. Difficult to imagine that you could get further from water. Well, there is a river that goes through town. Mm. You know, it's dry nine years out of ten, but it's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it says that this particular um, search and rescue boat is travelling at 473 knots <laughs> oh, right 473 knots yep what is it the bat boat <laughs> 
With a frickin' jet engine on the back? <laughs> I'd suggest it's probably in the air. Being transported somewhere. Hydrofoil. Um, what was I doing? Painting wolves and arches and... It's, it's actually a good point. Oh shit, they're goblins, not orcs. I've mixed up my packets. You have. That's fine, no, they die I the same. Orcs. These are definitely orcs. They're way too big to be goblins. I've seen those trollmans. I've seen trollbins you people wouldn't believe. Trollbins being um, goblin-sized trolls. These particular miniatures are uh, massive bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. They're actually quite cool. That's a very nice leather brown. It is. What a pity we can't get any of it at the moment. Although, I think the paint shenanigans are finished. Just in time for winter and all of those paints to freeze and freeze. Freeze, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Well, it's always cold in the UK. Out of curiosity, do you all have iPhones or Androids? Personally, uh, Android. Same. Uh, which phone for Android? Um, mine's a Samsung. I have a range of different Samsungs. Alright, just... When I get to the point of making the mobile apps, I'm trying to find the one that's most common amongst the community so I can get that as a testing device. Pretty sure Ross has an iPhone, so Contrarians. <laughs> He's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I stand by the stance of use the phone that you like the most. Yeah, I do I don't care each to their own. I don't touch Apple products because I was forced to work on them for a number of years, but... I won't touch Apple products because of their anti-consumer nature. Fair enough. You see, um, what's her name? Steve Jobs' daughter came out the other day with a review of the iPhone 14. No. Well, she did. Mm. She said it's the same as the iPhone 13. Right. It is. And There's a few hardware upgrades, but that's about it. This is a surprise. How? It's not. It shouldn't be, unless it's you're exactly an right. Apple fan, and you're only just waking up to the fact that you've been conned for the last 15 years. Well, that's the thing. Apple has never really been... Rev they will occasionally do something revolutionary, but most of their products are evolutionary. Mm -hmm. They do minor enhancements every generation come out with a great idea and then they evolve it to death and every now and then change the plugs and the connectors yeah just to be annoying just to make you spend more money still hence anti-consumer hmm. I'm kind of glad that the EU has finally done something worthwhile and forced them to put USB-C plugs in their phones. Yeah, really? Mm. Nice. Uh, you hope they'd do that. They could do one of two things. They can either go to the USB-C or just completely drop the plug altogether. Which, well, they would not be which if they did that, they would not be required to comply with it. Well, there's a third option. They don't have to sell their products in Europe. <laughs> that too. 
which I would be all in favour of. Right. <laughs> it's not really going to affect you, is it? Nope. Nope. What's the time, Matty? It is uh, 20 past nine. Right. I'm going to let y'all be. I got to get home. My sugar's starting to drop. Uh, well, you have a great evening and a good weekend. I'm working all weekend. Oof. So, no chance of that then. Well, I'm going to take a break long enough on Saturday. I'll be, uh, the latest version of Megamet came out right. and having some weird issues with it. So I'm going to give it a solid stress test with a large map, a couple thousand units. Right. See if, uh, what crashes first, my shiny new Mac or the, uh, program. <laughs> right. Well, I'm only used to the Megamex of 15, 20 years ago, so... It's had a lot of upgrades since then. Yes, I can imagine it's been probably been rewritten three times. That it has not. It's in the process of getting a major rewrite now. <laughs> right, okay. There's a lot of code in there that's 20 years old that is still in there. Oh, there you go. I stole some of that. Well, stole. It's open source, so I used some of that. A long time ago, Galaxy Far, far Away. Yeah, one of the one of the younger developers on the team is currently trying to modernize everything on there, and he's done a damn good job of it. Yeah. But it's still a long way to go yeah. before it's at a any kind of central point we can do anything with it. It was a beast back in the day, so I can only just imagine. Almost a million lines of code. Yeah, it's a beast. It's ten times the size of what. My project end up as. Yeah, I think it's a million lines of code with maybe 5% test coverage. Yeah. Your testers are warm bodies. I'll let you guys go tonight. Have a good one. Thanks, Richard. Thanks for dropping in. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Right, some metal, not that one, that one. We might even get these to sourcing. God damn, but you paint quick. All that stuff I've done in the last couple of weeks, it's taken a lot of hours for mm -hmm. me. I'm not being careful with these guys. This is just a slap and paint in the general direction. Well, I feel that mine's about the same, to be honest, because I do do that. I only touch things up just before I put sauce on. But... Yeah, well, that's the point. The point is you get the colours in the right locations, then you go back up and you, you touch, you, you fix the, the glaring errors, you source them, which corrects a whole bunch of other problems, then you do the highlights and, and whatever after that, and eyeballs and things like that, and they're done. Yeah, so same process that I do. It still yeah. takes me a lot longer than you to put base coats on. Still, <laughs> still got a fair Unless I'm projects. painting skeletons, in which case, you know, it takes half an hour. Yep. Skeletons are just perfect airbrush fodder. Speed paint fodder. Yes. I really, really like the pallid bone speed paint. Yeah. 
That's what I did the Dark Elves as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like those Dark Elves. Yeah, so do I. Did you ever respond to that question about whether or not they were personal choice or oh, I did. Yeah. mandated I, to be um, that in the game? I did a short answer and a long answer. Hmm. Uh, short answer, personal choice. I would have been bored. Long answer, uh, I wanted to try out a whole bunch of different things that mm. I hadn't had the opportunity to do, like dark skin tones and a wasteland. Pale elves would look silly in a wasteland, etc., um, mm -hmm. etc. Cetera, et cetera. Did you get a response? I got a thumbs up. Yeah, right. And why does dark imply evil? It, it doesn't. doesn't have to. It it's doesn't. a descriptive name, like barbarian. Or See, wood elves, because wood elves live in forests. If you say and, so. Well, you say so. No. I read your blog posts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And high elves have sticks up their asses. Yep. General descriptive names, not proper race names. Oh. At the end of the day, they can be whatever you want them to be. Hmm. Hmm. It was the second edition Demon World stuff ever published in English. <laughs> No. Yeah. Okay. I don't imagine the first edition stuff was. Uh, there is, like, you're talking about the hex based stuff. There is hex based yeah. stuff in English. I just would have thought it was all in German. It was originally, but they did do translations into English. Okay. Yeah, I've never read any of it. Well, the game itself's okay you know, for its time. Nothing wrong with it, you know. It's quite detailed, and by all accounts, it's you know some good fun to be had. Um, but you know, that's not the game that we wanted to make and my biggest issue with it was the background is frankly pure so you know it shows its age too I mean you know it's a fantasy background that was written in the 90s mm. So they don't have any metal on them. So I can do quivers. Colours I can do quivers. Are at it again.
Uh, I think I might need to um, duck out. All right. Max seems to want to play Shadowrun. Oh, there you go. Shadowrun game time. Yeah, I thought he might be skipping it today. There you he go. could play like half an hour past his start. Well, I'll finish these off and we'll call it. And no Robin. Why does he want to play without Robin? I don't know. Weird. I just told him to give me a few minutes. I want to make a sandwich. <laughs> Get some coffee. Get some coffee. Yeah. I'll get some breakfast after I pull a pin on this. Yeah, veggie mite sandwiches. That's what you're going to make. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I ever told you, but I bake bread fairly frequently. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I baked a loaf the other night. And, mm, that's good. Yes. So, I know the two things that come will, will definitely come out of your kitchen readily is baked bread and coffee. Yep. So what have we got? One to go. <laughs> Damn it. What's wrong? About to yawn, and so I pushed the press to talk button. I'm like, mm, hang on. <laughs> Push to yawn? Yeah. Obviously, I'm wide awake. But yeah, I guess I'd better get up. Yeah. Start doing the things I can do before I do this other thing. The the, the preambles. The the thing preambles. Mm. Pre rambles. Preambulate. <laughs> right. Have yeah, thanks, Matt. No worries. Well, certainly try. Same to you. Good luck with the uh, the painting and the everything else you're going to have going on. I'm sure you've got tons of stuff to do. I have got tons of stuff to do. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is stuff some food into my belly. These Fair guys are... Uh, uh, I've missed a... Oh, no, I haven't. Um, just the... Uh, Feathers in the quivers, the skulls and the hair on the walls, and then they're up for sourcing. So I've got them close. Not bad for an hour and a half. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Have a great game. Cheers. We'll and, see you uh, next time. See you if next not, time. four. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Take folks. Care. See ya.